the Fitzy and Whipper with Kate Ritchie podcast. We're very excited about this. We love getting this man into the studio. He's back this Sunday, 7 o'clock on Channel 9, The Block. Scotty Cam, welcome! Oh, thank you very much for having me. I love coming in here and saying good day to you guys. Yes, you, you do. Know, and Kate for the first time. I know, yes. first time. Do you know what I was hoping, Scotty? What's that, I was mate? hoping you would have worn your wig and your leather jacket <laughs> and your 50s gear from the program. I'll tell, you, I'll tell you a good story about that leather jacket. They had to cut it right up the back so I could do it up. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> you put on a couple of cages. Yeah. No, no, just normal stuff when you turn 60, mate, you know. You wake up when you're 50, you've swallowed the doona. <laughs> That's what happens. Damn. Yeah. Now, now, wait, let's get this rumour out of the way because everyone was talking that this is Scotty Cam's last block. Yeah. I don't know how that got out. Can you please tell us what's going on oh, here? Good, good digital journalism, that is. Yes. You know, yes. stroke from the, our friends down the road there. Um, no, not true. I saw about three months ago. I signed a multi-year deal for. Oh, did you? A few more. Great, right. great. Yeah. You'll die great. on that work site. Yeah, right? yeah, <laughs> no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna retire. <laughs> They'll go. build a box around <laughs> you yeah, and carry right. you out. They will. <laughs> they'll, they'll pour you into the foundation. <laughs> yeah. Scotty's Where's coffin. Where's Scotty? He's under the concrete. Yeah, he's under the tennis <laughs> we've, court. We've poured the slab. Yeah. He's you, in there. Just quickly, we spoke about this because I went to my uncle's funeral a couple of weeks ago, and he wrote his own eulogy, Scotty. Yes. Which I, I'd never seen that before. It was really powerful, and a lot of people learn stuff there that we didn't know about and my did uncle. He re- did he record a, a reading of that no, or someone read it? No, his best mate read yeah, it right, out, right? right? right. Okay. Um, but I wanted to know, like, hey, would you spread your ashes somewhere? Is there uh, somewhere important for you? Probably Have you up thought at about Mudgee, this? up at the bush. Oh, gotcha. Oh, yeah. Do you know what I want people to say at my funeral? Here we go. I think he's moving. <laughs> Do you know what? Those, <laughs> knowing, He's alive. Knowing that you've taxidermied your dogs, yes, wouldn't surprise me if you did it for yourself. Well, so Scotty just, just gets wheeled into the block. Mm. He died three years ago, mm. but he still gets wheeled in. He's yes. on a dolly. Have, Bit you, AI. have you really <laughs> done yep. that? Have you taxidermied your? I've got, two, I've got three dogs at home. One's living, and yeah. um, the other uh, a taxidermied and on the stairs on the way up. And I, I did an interview many years ago that dogs are taking anxiety tablets. Five million dogs <laughs> taking anxiety tablets. Okay, this is madness. And uh, I said, if any dog needs anxiety tablets, my new puppy, who walks past the two dead ones every morning. <laughs> what, what did you do to get there? You don't reckon he's stressed? Yeah, God, oh take my a tablet. God. This is where I'm headed. Scotty, what's interesting about this season as we go back to the 50s as well yes. is that I was looking at an article last night on Australia's best renovated house. And that look of the 50s mm. is really back in trend. What is the 50s, Scotty? Uh, it's, it's sort of... Uh, like that Harry Seidler style, oh, yeah, you know, yes. minimalist, yes. Uh, minimalistic. Yeah. Uh, and but it, we're starting with the fifties houses. That's what the fifties theme is. Oh, yep. gotcha. Uh, and then we're changing that to twenty twenty three. So we're kicking off with five houses that were built in the fifties, and they look exactly the same as when they were built. Big yeah. budget. Big budget. Jeez. Yeah, like, and, and, and if you know about building, when you go up, you've got scaffolding, you've got to lug all your equipment up there, you've got to oh. lug all your materials up there, you've got yeah. stairs, you've got all sorts of yeah, things. Yeah, is the show a lot more expensive to be making these days? Because, I mean, mm. if you're living out in the real world and you are doing a renovation, mm. a lot of people have put theirs on hold because yes, timber's crunched. more expensive and this is more expensive yes. and labour is more expensive. So I'm guessing the budget is bigger than it ever has been before. Yes, it, it has been, Kate, you're right. And mums and dads are going through this every day and that's what we try and emulate on our show is to copy or show people w- what you'll have to go through to build a house yeah, or gotcha. renovate your home. And uh, during COVID, building materials went up by 40%. Yeah. Big building companies are paying, say, you and your missus, yeah. 20000 to tear up the contract. Of God, because wow. if we build your house, we're either going to go gonna broke lose. or we're not going to finish it. Yeah. Oh, my God. And, wow. Scotty, that just drives DIY, doesn't it? it Even yes. further. But then uh, the problem with that DIY, it always costs you a little bit more because you don't know how to save and you don't know how to, not to cut corners but how to get around some yep. corners yeah. yep. a bit cheaper. Yep. Scotty, can I just say, I feel like every year of the block, the judges are getting further from the truth and I think the contestants Whoa. are picking it up a little bit now where they're like, you know what, I know you're trying to be controversial, Shana. I know you're trying to be controversial, Neil and Darren, but we're going to do our own thing. We don't care if we're winning every week. The no. thing is, they're not bringing in the cash from winning challenges, but no. they've gone, this is our style of house and at the end of the series, they've actually done quite well, mm. Scotty. Now, I sort of agree that people are running their own path because they're very savvy with design yep. these days. And they've done like we, some of our contestants have flipped nine houses. Yep. So yeah, they right. know what they're doing, and and you're right. And they go, well, listen, we're not worrying about winning. No, 
we're going to just one play for the end game. Yeah, and, and, yeah, and make sure we go for the big prize, which yeah. could be five, six hundred up to. What, what's yeah. the most anyone's won well, from the block la- last year? Those boys won uh, one point six million. My. 800 each. We should do My it. Do you God. think we'd go all right we renovating a house together? When are they going to do the radio version? That is ridiculous. Kate, you'd be welcome at your partners. <laughs> oh, <laughs> 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 Actually, I'm hoping down, you'll come you? to my place and do a bit of work, actually. Yeah, yeah. Need to yeah. do I wouldn't last a day there. on the work site, especially with Keith hanging around you all day. Mm, Far did out. Keith go to the Logies? Keith was there. He had oh, his yeah. hat on. How did you go at the Logies? <laughs> uh, I, oh, yeah, I had a good night. I yeah. had a good time. Everything all right? Is yeah, it... everything was fine. It was actually... Sam did a fantastic job, made it very entertaining. Painting, yeah, painting he did awesome. a great job. You got a mention, didn't you, from Yeah, he, uh, he, he said um, <laughs> the block's going 1950s of Scotty Cam. He looked forward to the asbestos that coming back. <laughs> <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> no, what was Quite the other true. one as well? Uh, oh, yeah, Australians right. owning their own home. It's yeah. the biggest it's fantasy the biggest show. Re- yeah, oh, biggest since Game, Game of Thrones. Thrones. Yeah. Very, Very good. Scotty, we love you, mate. The Block is back this Sunday, 7 o'clock on Channel 9. Thank you very much for coming in and good luck, brother. Thank you, guys. Good on you. Fitzy and Whipper with Kate Ritchie is a Nova podcast. For more great comedy shows like this, head to novapodcast.com.au.